What's up guys, Ankle Spankin' here, and today we are playing as Oriana in the mid lane, and I do very, vi oh, I thought I just flashed, but I do very strongly apologize. I actually missed first blood. Um, I was late in the game into this game, so apparently our bot lane is Draven, and Blitzcrank did pick up first blood onto Vayne, so I'm not sure how they did that, but fantastic job. Anyways, Oriana is actually a very 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 high skill cap champion who um in my honest opinion if you can be a fantastic oriana then you are uncounterable in lane that is my 100 percent honest opinion because an amazing oriana is d truly disgusting like it's damn near unbeatable um but maybe that's maybe that's just my thought anyways it looks like our mid laner is either giving like a really hard leash or he fuck that was bad, but I I don't know where he is. So am I just... Am, oh, there he is. All right, there's our Vel'Koz that we're against. So as you can see now, we are clearly against the Vel'Koz. Um, it looks like he started with his W, and I'm just going to move out of that. No problem. And Vel'Koz is actually kind of annoying uh, to lane against, as most mid laners. And keep in mind what I just said a second ago. I am not a fantastic Oriana by any means. Uh, I think I'm... Possibly okay with her at best, but I'm definitely not amazing. So something to keep in mind while you watch this. She was someone I wanted to practice a little while ago just because I understand how powerful she is. But at the same time, I am I lack the confidence to truly use her. Maybe maybe that's the past though, because I have gotten much better at the game in all honesty. So possibly. Now that I have improved my mechanics drastically, I could be... Whoops. Shit. As I say that, dude. dude I, I apologize in advance. It's 4.45 in the morning currently. I just checked the time. So, maybe a little off and I should have run down. That was a mistake. Uh, let's see. He started with boots? Really? Damn. All right, I'm just going to walk down. We'll go ahead and do some damage here. And also, a very important thing when using Oriana is... Do remember to use her auto attack. Um, her auto attack does too much damage to just ignore using because of her passive to clockwork windup, or I think this was called yeah clockwork windup. Um, it adds bonus magic damage to your attacks. So it actually scales up as you hit the same target multi or, uh, multiple times, so it's very very powerful. It helps with last hitting a lot, and it also helps with trading a lot, especially when you're able to auto attack trade really effectively, which is kind of difficult against the Velkaz because usually he's not going to be in range to auto attack you. Um, he just sits away from you and pussyfoots around with his slow and his Ws. So that's usually kind of how Vel'Koz lanes go. But there's not a lot you can truly do about it for a little bit. Uh, I'll be able to do more about it a little later. For now, I just need to kind of farm up. And actually, it would be really beneficial for me to push him under tower. Who's their jungler though? Kha'Zix, yeah. It would be beneficial for me to push him under tower. And I need to not let him poke me for free like that, so I had to retaliate with an auto. Let's go ahead and auto Q, just to make sure I get that Siege Minion. And actually, once you practice just a tiny bit with Oriana, farming with her is fantastic. Um, it feels so nice, and it's actually almost difficult to be missing CS with her, because you have such a low cooldown on your Q, and it's a very dependable ability to get CS with. Plus, your auto attack does way more damage than almost any other mid laner, um, excluding AD mid laners because there we go got my shield off for the CS still so as you can see even though I've been missing some I do have 40 at five minutes compared to Velkaz's 22 so we're definitely outclassing him a lot in this right now and I'm actually just going to push the wave right now because I realized that if I can keep him under really heavy pressure that he's going to have an even harder time CSing so I will be able to do that especially now that he's got no mana either um, we'll have a lot easier time just getting them down and making them miss more CS. So, we will keep this up. And of course, first item rush will be the Athenes. Uh, very, very standard in any mid lane versus AP matchup. Usually, um, it's still fine to go Athenes and AD matchups, but usually you kind of want to avoid it just because the Athenes really doesn't offer any defensive stats in... AD matchups, like if you're against, say, a Zed, you'll probably not want to get the Athenes first. You'll probably end up wanting to get something more along the lines of, say, a Zonia's. 
Um, because that'll help you way, way more than Athene's will. Unless you're so drastically ahead that he can't burst you. But that is usually not the case. Um, so, with all of that in mind, let's actually just avoid that if we can. I'm going to miss... Alright. I used my Q to make sure I wouldn't miss both of those because that would be kind of bad. Um, but let's just keep farming it up here, get some autos off. Never mind, just going to get slowed. That sucks. Ugh, gonna take that shot. And let's see. What the heck? We have Jungle Braum. I didn't even notice that. That's so swag. Alright. I need to be very careful about getting ganked by Kha'Zix. Because if I get ganked right now, like if, I, if he gets a good gank off on me, I'm going to... Oh, hello. Speak of the devil, right? <laughs> Speak of the devil. Look at this guy. What are you doing, Ka? What are you doing? I don't know. I don't know what he's still trying for. Um, what? What? What are you? What is he? Oh, that flash slow. And let's see. All right, the flash coming up from Velkaz. And will this be? Uh, all right, that's gonna be the flash to get the or the Brom Sun off. So there goes the Q, and there goes my flash to make sure I got that kill. Sick ganks. So that actually helped me a lot. And I tried to shockwave him under the tower, but I accidentally used the wrong ability. But I'm glad it still worked. So we got quite a lot out of that. I'm just going to push this wave. And I'm going to go back, because it looks like Velkaz went back. Yeah, he's going back. He's missing all this wave right now, so that's really bad for him. But 100, 67 CS in about 8 minutes. Not doing too bad there. Let's go ahead and pick up both of these uh, boots and some potions. And I will, of course, pick up a ward. So... Keep in mind, I do not have my flash, um, which is why I do need. It's even more important than usual to pick up a ward right now, and I don't think I'll be getting this blue because Brom is low in levels, so he does need the experience, which is totally fine. Um, but now that I've got the chalice, and the lane is actually kind of slowly pushing towards me, which is really good for me, um, we can be in a very good position. It looks. What the heck? If he actually pushes that, I can still get all of these, no problem. So let's see. As you can see, he just got the Chalice. He did not get the Fiendish Codex like I did. Um, trying to do damage to me. It's slightly working, I guess. But not too much. So I can just kind of tank these out. Uh, make sure I get all of them. And that'll be that. So we do have over double Velkaz's CS. Very good for us. And let's go ahead and get some damage off on him right here. Get some autos, get some autos. There we go. Good trade for us. Get my potions ticking. And it looks like another successful Braum gank going off. Good job. And let's go ahead and just kill him here. The shockwave and the auto attack. A very, very easy setup. Just constantly poking him down and not giving him a chance to get any of his HP back. So, this is looking like it's going very heavily in our favor right now. And Velkaz is going to miss more minions. And now that I have another kill on him, this is looking pretty good. So, I'm just going to kind of queue up over here. And I, if I if I had my Shockwave, I may have been able to kill that Kha'Zix. Or not my Shockwave, my Dissonance, which is my W in case you don't know. Uh, let's, all right, he went back. <clears throat> he definitely didn't want to risk that. Um, I'll just get a Potion ticking right now so I can keep staying in lane. Because I don't really have any need to go back just yet. So let's actually get some damage off on him here. Because as I said, with the chalice in hand, I'm not really going to be needing too much mana by any means like that. So we should be good. Let's go ahead and kick my ball right in his face so I can just uh, poke him more. Bring him down that much more. He's going to use his ultimate here and I'm actually just going to sit here and auto him. We're going to heal myself to get out. Use... Oh shit. Alright, I'm dead. I'm, eh, I'm probably not dead. Wait, no, Braum is here. I'm definitely not dead. Let's go ahead and get some autos in here. The W from Braum and the slow coming out right there. Let's go ahead and get this Q out here and... Nope. No double loves for me. Hashtag no love. But fantastic job. I'm glad I saw him and I'm glad I ran that way. Kind of out of instinct. So a great counter gank. Uh, 93 CS at 1030. So, still doing very well there. Let's pick up the Athenes. And I'll actually pick up a second Doran's Ring just to... Eh, no, no I won't. I'm not going to do that. I'm actually just going to save my money for the most part so I can get um, get a bit more going for myself. Because the faster I can complete my items, the better off I'll be uh, to fight the rest of their team. Because even though we are pretty far ahead right now, bot lane is actually doing very well on the, edit, or the enemy team. Overall, like our bot lane is doing fine too, but their bot lane has double mine CS. 
So they're doing far superior. So this game isn't actually totally won yet, even though I am 3-0-1. Um, it should be, you know, obviously pointing in our favor because a, a very farmed mid laner with a lot of kills is definitely terrifying. Let's not undermine that at all. And it looks like he's getting t a little too close to me, so I'm just going to take advantage of that. Place my ball very aggressively because I know if he walks near it, I can just do that to him. Actually missed my dissonance. That was pretty bad. But still going to be fine. Going to drop a ward here, and I'm glad I just did. So, going to get out no problem from Jax, and I'll drop my ball aggressively once again. Because um, to be honest, I'm not that scared of the Jax overall. I'm actually going to go drop a ward over here too, just in case Jax is trying to get cheeky with me. So, getting all those, Jax is going bottom. Go ahead and caution ping them, because I don't really... Yeah, there's Jax. Jax really wasted his time by roaming down like this, because he's not getting anything out of it. So that is a bit of a shame for him. I'm just going to use my W there. Actually, getting the poke off on Velkaz was not even intentional on that. But, you know, any poke helps, so... Actually, if I can catch him with a good dissonance, he's going to die. So I'll go ahead and just bring my ball very aggressive again. And he's dead. So, that will be... Oh, nope. Well, he uses flash, so... That's still pretty good for me for no summoners from my side. And that will force him out of lane. And I got this tower now, too. So, just shield myself, get all these minions. And that will be that. So mid tower going down right there. And actually, I could get a bit more. What is Kha'Zix doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yes. Got it. <laughs> what? All right, so Velkaz ulted me. I actually thought about flashing. But um, he wasn't really doing a lot of damage, so I didn't really feel like I'd need to. And I'm glad I didn't, because I didn't need to. So, a little bit of a risk there. We have Braum behind us. I was <laughs> kind of bringing my camera up to make sure that was Braum. And I actually misclicked on my mini-map, um, as I'm sure you guys saw there. And <laughs> almost got myself actually killed. But that is A-OK. -okay. So, actually, I want this top farm. So, I'm going to go get it. Maybe a little slightly being towards the top laner possibly but I also want to pad my numbers make myself look really good at this game so that will be the true goal the true intentions in my mind so let's go ahead and Q try and make sure we get all of these Q again through there W and Q through there alright so 134 CS at 14 minutes 4-0 and 1 doing pretty well I'll say so I will get Let's see, I'm just going to pick up the Needless. <laughs> a very vicious Needless, mind you. <laughs> Apparently I was typing that in all caps. So it looks like a shutdown actually going down. Brom, no problem there. And our blue is up, so that is something I should kind of keep track of, perhaps. Looks like just going to use the Dark Flight to get away from Jax. Will not matter, though. Counter-Strike coming up after the Massacre. Trying to flash out the flash from Jax. Kind of a very unnecessary flash from Jax, but still... Um, could have gone worse, like he could have not gotten any summoners from Jax out of that. So Whirling Death coming out from Draven actually, and they will be losing this fight in the bot lane. So as you guys can see, even though I'm doing very well, there's still potential for things to happen. Uh, let's go ahead and not get hit by that, and there we go. Make sure I get that. <clears throat> and now with the Needlessly Large Rod, I should be in a very good position. And it looks like, oh, hello. All right, going to bring the ball into myself and shockwave me. And I'm going to, oh, holy shit. I did not think he would do that much. That was well played. I thought I would be able to get both of them in my shockwave, but I misjudged my range and I stepped too far away from Velkaz. So that was a misplay on my part. Have my sorcerer shoes now. That'll help a lot. Looks like Vayne is going to die for her aggression. So that will be the end of her life. Tower is going to go down, but the enemy Brom should go down as well. The slow landing, so knocking him up, and yeah, Brom's going to die. So there's the stun there, and two, another kill for the Brom on our team. So having Brom on each team is actually almost a little awkward feeling, and I'm really sad that he's taking all the blues. Uh, I get the second, like I understand him taking the second blue, but third blue I really would have loved to have 
Um, anyways, we got dragon, so I'm actually going to just shove out mid lane and then go top. Because there's a lot of farm up there that I don't really want to miss out on. So let's just do that and hustle on up so I can make sure that we don't miss this. Because, actually, people tend to undervalue farm a lot um, and how potent it can truly be. But when you really undervalue farm, that's when it stops seeming as important. And you cannot let that happen. So, hello, Jax. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and keep this up. And if he actually jumps on me, I should be able to kill him. So, I'm not too worried about Jax. Let's just go ahead and... I'll miss that one. That's okay. So let's throw the ball in here first. Because the ball does give you vision. Um, so it's always good to throw your ball first if you think someone might be in a dangerous situation. Usually if you can put your ball in a bush, though, um, you're probably close enough to get hit by something from the enemy team anyways. So try and do it from safer locations if you can, possibly. or Possibly. Because uh, that will save your life a few times, actually. I can almost guarantee that. So, just keeping up the farm, kind of pushing down top lane, and we'll go ahead and bring the ball back, Q in the middle of those guys, auto that, auto that, and I guess I'll work on this tower a bit, because no one is here to stop me, the only person that might be is Kha'Zix, and there he is, he cannot kill me, I know this, so I'll just kind of do a little poke to him, and make sure he stays down. So, going to walk over here, do damage, and walk over here, do damage, and there's the auto for the kill, I guess. He chose way too late of a time to leap out, and just doing the massive sustained damage that Orianna can do was enough to take him down with no cost to me and no use of my ultimate either. So, actually, that could make Jax very, very, very cocky if he gets too close. So, actually, it looks like he's not going to the shockwave going to come out and the auto for the kill. So... Picking up him, and let's see if I can get this too. That'll be a double kill for me. Picking up the double buffs with that. Braum stepping too, too close. And I do still have my heal, so I can possibly outplay if they try and do something to me. But I feel like it would probably be the wiser choice to leave. And let's actually go ahead and flash away and fall her, use my heal. And, oh, hello. You want to keep fighting? You want to keep fighting this battle? And BOOM! Wait! I missed. And BOOM! There's the kill! She was trying to do that white camp way too much for that lifesteal, so just manipulating my ball from over the wall from safety and taking them down. So, 8 and 1. Do have the double buffs now. Will help me a lot. And let's get these and go back. Because I can get my Rabadons now. Uh, we are still farming well, which is almost a little weird for me. Because, as I'm sure if you guys watch my videos a lot, my farm tends to fall off because I try and make silly plays and I just quit farming. That's really all that happens. Um, but if I'm focused and actually keep trying to farm, I can usually farm decently well. Plus, as Orianna, it's very easy, like I was saying earlier. And now I've got the Rabidons. Um, if I play properly, I can probably, like, 1v3-ish. With a good Shockwave, I, I'm actually positive I could. But, let's see, it looks like Braum gonna try and go in here. I'm gonna drop my ball on him. Shockwave right there, taking them all down. The massive damage. Jax is trying to jump on me. Won't really matter. Just going to kind of tick him down with my sustained damage. And boom! That will be a double kill for me. And we'll just shield ourselves and get these minions. Looks like, oh, he's getting grabbed. So the triple, nope. Not going to come out. And let's go ahead and speed him up. Get this auto off here. And boom, there is going to be another double kill for Aatrox. For the ace, actually, 10, 1, and 4. And I actually didn't get a stellar shockwave off there, but it wasn't particularly bad either. So it was it was good enough that it was able to kill them. And I do need to be just a little mindful of Kha'Zix, because he can stealth in and jump. But I really doubt he's got the testicles to do that. So, oh, I, I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong about his testicles. Let's go ahead and just stick on this Jax. And there's the W going to shield him. And I'm just going to stick from behind here. And let's go ahead and pick this guy up. There's the double kill right there. And the triple kill right there going in. And it looks like... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. 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 Oh, shit! She tumbled forward, dude. Damn. Ah. I actually didn't see Vayne. That was totally my fault. 
So Vayne actually just wrecking them, but the Braum passive going to stun her up, and oh, that will be the end of the game. So ending that game, 202 CS at 21 minutes, 13 and 2, I believe, was my ending score. So a very well played Orianna game for me. And it's really nice to see that I'm not making as many, re like, just really silly errors like I used to be uh, when I played Orianna. So it's really nice and encouraging for me as, uh, as a player that I know I can see my improvements. So I actually will probably keep playing Orianna more because I have been enjoying her a lot. And anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and favorite really out. I'm sorry I couldn't pump a lot of energy into this. Like I said, it's 5 in the morning right now. I'm pretty tired. But I tried to make it somewhat informative so you guys at least learned something about mid lane. I didn't teach that much about mid lane in general, but I hope you picked up something about Orianna. And I hope you give her a try too because she's a very powerful character that's rather underplayed just because people are intimidated by how her kit works. But if you can learn it, you can see that the results are devastating. Um... And as always, though, if you guys are new to this video, make sure you like and favorite this out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch. All things will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Peace!